Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an unboxing and it is the Elves box from Sophie and Toffee. This is for April 2021. It has arrived this afternoon. I am absolutely excited to get into this. I cannot wait. It's only my second box that I've had from this company but I cannot wait to unbox it. I haven't seen any other unboxings on YouTube or Instagram so I don't know if it's like arrived super early with me or not but I thought I'll just unbox it, get it up uploaded so if you are curious to see what is inside then you will be able to sort of um, see what there is and if it's maybe something that you'd be interested in subscribing in in the future so there are two different levels of subscription there is the regular subscription and there is also the premium subscription i've um, opted for the premium subscription just so that i get everything that they're offering each month because if i didn't i would just be I just have fear of missing out. I'm just terrible. I'm such a child. But yeah, I'm I'm just I cannot wait to open it up. Now the premium box costs $53 a month, I think, and that includes shipping. Um Sophie and Toffee have just changed their handlers and they now send all their packages out with FedEx. It arrived so quick this month compared to last month. Last month was with I think it was DHL. This month is FedEx. I got a message literally just a few days ago. I've been tracking it. It has been on the move every time I've checked. It's been somewhere else. So I'm really, really pleased. And as I say, I arrived today really, really quickly. So it's aimed at resin crafters. There is normally um, like UV resin inside. There might be some epoxy resin as well. Often there are molds, um, different sorts of pigments, mica, different embellishments, all those sorts of things. So even if you don't like the theme of the box, you can usually use everything inside. It's still in your other projects and things. And there is so much creativity that has been shared on Facebook and on Instagram. So do go check out those. I'll put lots of information in the description box down below, including some discount referral links if you want to save yourself some money by either signing up or shopping at Sophie and Toffee because there's also a subscription service. They've also got a shop where you can buy all of your regular supplies and they have sales on quite a lot as well. So do go check them out. Right, I think that is everything. So should we just get inside and have a look? So yeah, it's another red box this month. Last month's was red. So I don't know if they're always red or if they change. As I say, I'm really, really new to Sophie and Toffee. So let's see. So the theme this month I do know is stained glass. Now, like stained glass window and that kind of like scared me a little bit because it's definitely not something that I would be automatically drawn to but I um yeah I just thought let's just keep keep going with it you can pause your membership um if there's a particular month that you don't really want to sort of um, take part in but I just thought in for a penny in for a pound I'm just going for it Um, they've got the different social media tags that you can do so you can do hashtag the elves box or hashtag Sophie and Toffee so if you make anything or share anything on social media do tag them so that they know and they'll come and find your projects that you've made so here's the box here's the booklet um interesting there's a couple of not sure what this is and let's do a little sneak peek and the packing peanuts are back. So let's have a little look at the booklet first of all. Um, so the April Elves box is stained glass. There's the little booklet here. Let's see if there's a message. So inside it's just the um, tutorials and ideas. So you can go to the Sophie and Toffee blog. You can go to their social media. So they've got a Facebook page and Instagram. But also there is a community page on Facebook. If you are, um, are signed up to the box, they will um, need to approve you. It's like a private closed group. So, um, but yeah, there's um, that one there too. And then it's just got some instructions how to make some of the projects. And then the November contest winners those people are mentioned here along with a picture of their creations so yeah if you tag them they will find you and then if you win what do you win hashtag your creations with hashtag the else box or hashtag sophie and toffee at instagram to enter our monthly contests so you must win something i'm not quite sure what it is but um you know <laughs> If you've got to be in it to win it so use your hashtags so i'm going to pop this here what i'm trying to do i'm going to try and pick out the products that everybody will get first of all in the regular subscription i think that's fair and then we'll show you what the premium add-ons are at the end so i'm going to try and get this so i can see what we've got and i'm going to work my way through the book so for the regular items now i knew that i was getting this because i did see this on sophie and toffee's instagram and 
I'm really curious about it. It's really curious. So this is a mold. It's a silicone mold, and this is a lamp. So obviously it goes in with the theme, um, the theme of stained glass. And um, I'll do a split screen so you can see a picture of what they had on their social media. So this is a lampshade silicone mold. And um, it just says use clear epoxy resin with this mold to make a clear lampshade. Trace on the design with a 3D and jewelry resin. Makes approximately 60 grams of resin for this mold. So that's good to know that you need 60 grams. That's really useful. Um, I must make sure that I keep these little books maybe with these. I might pop all my Sophie and Toffee things in like separate little sort of storage areas. And then I can just sort of always have everything on hand. So yeah, I'll do your split screen. It looked really, really pretty actually. But even if you don't use that as a lamp, because it's like a little pot, isn't it? So you could end up having it just as um, like, a little thing to keep your pens in it's really really versatile so you can just think outside the box it doesn't have to fit with the theme you know you can make it for lots of other things so i haven't got anything like that in my collection already so that's going to be so difficult to demold <laughs> it's going to be an absolute pig isn't it so yeah that is the first item there so everybody gets that the next thing we have is Oh, this is quite a good, decent size, actually. And we have got some epoxy resin. So we've got a two-part, one-to-one ratio resin. I'm going to leave it inside the little um, things just now. So it is Sophie and Toffee epoxy resin. Um, it's for smaller size projects, fast curing, easy to use, low fumes, 100 grams um, in each bottle. So you've got your party, you've got your resin, and you've got your hardener. Um, it tells you some instructions on the back, mix one to one um, using weighing scales. So one part of A mixed with one part of B, mix it until it's clear with no swirls. Wait it for 12 hours for curing. That is really quick. I tend to usually mix up my resin for about between three and five minutes. I just kind of set a timer on Alexa for five minutes. And then they all usually say um, three minutes, but I do kind of go for five it'd be interesting i've never tried the sophie and toffee epoxy resin before either so what does it say here so it's the epoxy resin one to one ratio 200 grams in total makes part a with part b with equal parts using weighing scales for better accuracy and um, swirl until the solution is totally clear wait for 12 hours for curing or more or more than 24 hours in colder climates. So obviously, yeah, the heat of your environment is gonna affect how quickly this cures. I've got some um, little weighing scales that I bought, like the jewelry weighing scales. So they're really like for small amounts. They're really, really good. And they've been very, very accurate. I'll link them down below if you're interested. I just got them off Amazon. Um, so yeah, that's the next item that everybody will receive. And it's always handy to get more resin. We always need resin no matter what we're doing. And I like the fact it's in some quite dinky little bottles. The next thing we have is... Okay, so it is 3D colour UV resin and it is in black. So it's a little bottle of black UV resin. Um, the newest Sophie and Toffee product produced 3D effects to allow free form drawing. It can be used as icing, dries fast within 30 seconds. Use this to trace out the design template. So that's probably what we saw at the beginning. So you can use this first, create a design, then you can probably fill it with other colours and maybe create like the lead effect, effect that you would get on um, your like stained glass windows. So yeah, that's a little bottle there. How much is in it? I'm not sure how much is in here. The writing is really, really little, but it is a nice little bottle anyway. So I'm going to pop that there and everybody gets that as well so continuing on with the um regular items i think this must be this and it is the color jewelry led resin and we've got three tubes of resin which is already colored so you don't need to add in any pigments or mica powders it is done for you which is brilliant i dare say if you want to add a bit of glitter in that you can just sort of pop it in a little pot and then mix it in but we've got yellow red and blue and there is 10 mils of each shade which is really really good 
um, and it just says included three different vibrant colors in yellow, red, and blue. So you can mix these primary colors to get secondary colors. So obviously if you want green, you mix your blue and your yellow together. If you want orange, you mix red and yellow together. Um, purple is red and blue, isn't it? Oh, I'm checking myself here. So yeah, that's really, really good. You've got your primary colors there. So you've got lots and lots of options. And if you've got some white pigment, you can maybe add that in and it might make it more of a pastel. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Um, it cures fast within 30 seconds. Obviously, you're going to need an, um, an LED lamp for that, the UV lamp. Um, use these to fill up the spaces in after tracing out the design template. So, yeah, you're going to use your black pigment and then you're going to pop this in the spaces and that will create your window effect. Absolutely brilliant. I think these would be really handy as well for like small jewellery pieces too. So... I, um, I don't normally buy UV resin, so this for me is perfect. It's going to give me a really nice sort of like broad collection of different types of products. So the next thing we have is, I've just seen it. Is this it? It is, and it's this, and it is an LED light. It's a cute LED light to illuminate your lamp from within. Batteries are included. So obviously, once you've used this design and it's like a little... um lampshade you'd sit it like that i think and you can put the um you'd sit the little bulb inside switch it on and then it'll be all glowy and gorgeous so it says that the batteries are included so i'm assuming you just need to press a little button to turn it on i think it might be this is it Yes, and it does. I don't know if you can see it, it lights up. So you can have a lovely glow inside there. Oh, I'm dead curious to try this and make a little lamp. Because I've got the light, I am now probably going to make the lampshade. If I hadn't have had the light, I don't think I would have made the lampshade at all. So the fact that I've just added this in is brilliant. Plus, you can buy like the little um, battery operated um, like tea lights, can't you now as well, which might fit in there really, really nicely. I'll have a look. I think I've got some left over from Christmas. So I will try that. I'll maybe do a video on this and then um, see what it's like. And I can pop this in and show you, but then also um, see how it works with a little battery operated tea lights because then you can make lots and lots of them can't you you can have them around the home and things so yeah that's lovely um the next thing we get in the regular items is the exclusive stained glass artworks so i'm thinking that this is what these are um and it looks like it's just printouts to be honest of different designs on paper so you will be able to just trace this and um and she says, I'm thinking that's what you're going to do is to just trace this and then um, copy your designs, you know, by using that black 3D UV resin. So and you'll be able to probably get more off um, the Internet or you could just like freehand it and make up your own designs. So, yeah, that's a little bit different, isn't it? And actually it is the ones that you get. I think it's shown as uh, these. This is what it's showing on here. So I'm not sure if these are other ones or not, but it just says, select your desired design according to the level of difficulty, trace out the design using your 3D resin and fill out the spaces using your jewelry resin. Cool, okie doke. So yeah, those are the regular ones, not the other ones that I've just shown you. That's that there. Now, so let me just show you now, Run. all of these are the regular items. The prices are much cheaper. I'm sure it's usually about, I want to say about $35. I'll pop the price on here, what the regular subscription is. But in the regular subscription, you're going to get the lamp mould, the little battery operated light, the black 3D UV resin. You've got the three different tubes of jewellery resin, which is also UV. And then you've got the 200 grams of epoxy two-part resin so that's all of your pre and um, your regular box items so everything else that we're going to look at now are the um premium add-ons so we have got the first premium add-on wow this is massive i'll definitely be able to use this um and it is just a really large round silicone mold now you could use this as a coaster you could use this as 
I was gonna say, I don't I wonder if you could make it as like a little plaque, couldn't you? Or maybe even a small clock. But this is a round silicone mould, a versatile mould to allow you to do a variety of projects, pour a layer of resin and trace on the design using your 3D resin. Uh-huh. So yeah, again, you can just make little wall plaques as well. And maybe um like door plaques you like name things for like kids bedrooms and things like that there's so many possibilities you could do with that next thing we have is some gold 3d uv resin so we have the black one already in the regular box and this time we have gold so it is um that sounds lovely so there's another little bottle of that and again this is another new sophie and toffee product and um, produce 3d effects to allow free form drawing can be used can also be used as icing so there's if you want to write the name of something on something and then cure that and um, it dries fast within 30 seconds uses to trace out the design templates and um, we have got some more jewelry resin brilliant so we've got different colors to the other ones that we've received already so we have got purple and magenta how gorgeous so that's i've now got five of these that is brilliant so I included two different vibrant colors in purple and magenta cures in 30 seconds again use up to fill in the spaces when tracing out the design template so perfect lots and lots of colors to use there the next thing I have is, this is unusual, is a gold metal chain and it is 50 centimeter chain. Let's take that out and have a look. And it just says a strong sturdy chain that comes with hooks at the ends. This length is more than enough and you can shorten it to your own preference. So you know how I was just saying with that round mold, you can maybe make like a little plaque for the the phone's just rang, so it cut off my filming, so sorry. Yeah, so what I was saying was, I'm not sure where I was up to, but, oh, you're a bit wonky now. Hang on, let's get you straighter. Eee. Oh, heck. So, yeah, this is a really, really chunky chain, and I was just saying, wasn't I, about how we could um, maybe use the round mould as a wall plaque. So if that was the case, can you imagine you could have it, like, hanging this up on the wall with that. You could attach this to either end of that, um, but it's a really, really like thick chain. There are two little um, like eye pins on here. So you could attach that if you wanted and then have that to hang up. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to have a little think about that. But it is a good length. You can cut it down if you use your, um, your wire cutters and um, just snip it down. But yeah, brilliant. Again, something that I wouldn't normally buy. So to get this included in the box is absolutely brilliant. It just sort of um, opens up the opportunities of different types of projects to make that you wouldn't normally do. Um, and then we have these, which is what I was showing you before, which are the round ones. So these are obviously going to fit with the mould. I wonder if you can see through it then. So if you had some clear resin in there to begin with, and you can, and it fits really well. But again, you could do any design, couldn't you? You can see there, you can just see through, you'll be able to trace through that with your black resin or your gold 3D resin. So there are a few different designs there. Not sure if I will use those, to be honest, but I've got them in case I need them. And all it says here is select your desired design according to level of difficulty, trace out the design using your 3D resin and fill in the spaces with your jewellery resin. So those are those. And then... um. It tells you what the theme is for next month, which looks really, really exciting. So May's theme. So if you sign up this month, if you pay in April, your next box will be May. So you always pay ahead of time. So I don't think you can purchase this box now unless you can buy them as one-off boxes. But if, you're sub -sub if you are subscribing, you always pay ahead of your box. So if you're wanting to sign up for May's, you need to pay in April. But the theme is board games and I have seen a couple of sneaks for it and they look really, really good. Um, I think there's some like there's some chess pieces but there looks to be some like jumanji tokens as well so again just something really different that i wouldn't normally do so let me just run through all of the products just so you can see exactly what we have so the premium ones so we've got these three big round templates there 
we have the large circular mold which is going to be so useful and we'll use that a lot i think um we've got five different shades of jewelry led resins we've got magenta purple red blue and yellow i've got two different shades of the 3d uv resins so i've got a black and a gold i have got that lamp mold which is so pretty i do really love the shade the shape of it. it is really really lovely we've got some epoxy resin which is really really good 200 grams of that we have got some more sort of designs there's templates and then we have that just little um battery operated light which will fit inside the lamp and that is your lot that's everything so that's it all there we had the chain as well did i show you the chain did i pack it over? oh it's there and we have the chain so that is everything this month so i hope you have enjoyed my unboxing i promise to get better with these some people just fly through them so so quick i just like to kind of look through it all and have a think about it and how i might use these products so if you have got any hints and tips for any of the products please do let me know in the description box down below if there's anything you'd like to see let me know if you've got any good ideas of what you could make let me know if you've made anything please tag me on instagram um my instagram sort of crafty one is at made by mawa i'll link that down below so tag me in your makes i'll come and have a look i'm going to start doing a few more tiktok things as well and again that's the same name um, made by Mawa. So I'll hopefully do an unboxing on TikTok and one on my Instagram too. So I hope you've enjoyed my unboxing. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up and um, leave a comment down below and I'll see you all again in my next unboxing. Take care guys. Bye for now.